Hi, I'm Sean Larry from Fitzpatrick's Real Estate and welcome to The Buzz for Thursday the 6th of July, start of the new financial year. Number of listings for the week was three last week, down from the week before eight, um, so a bit of a decline there. Number of sales was six, that was up one from last week's five. Market appraisals holding consistent, that was at 19, the same as the previous week. The number of offers we had was 10, so up from last week seven, probably a little bit of that first home buyer stamp duty exemption um, activity starting to flow in. Um, we conducted 22 opens with 61 people coming through with an average of 2.8, uh, down one from last week's 3.8. So as I said, start of the new financial year, some stats that were released by the HIA um, regarding vacant land and things for the previous year, the 2015-2016 year. So there was 358 new vacant lots produced. That was 123 vacant lots less than the year before. There was 420 vacant lots built on. So that's the highest number in the last four years that the HIA has been doing that report. And the average price of vacant land, that increased by just a little over $6,000. So that's up from 141,000 up to 147,000. So that's an increase of about 4.5%. So as you can see, land and subdivisions still very popular and prices are still building momentum in some of those new land releases. There was 457 vacant lots sold and that was an increase of 29% on the year before. So it's a very popular trend. We'd expect those numbers to continue to grow, especially with some of the activity on that northern side of town. We've also got subdivisions out in Lloyd as well that are selling very well off the plan. If you're thinking of building or want to discuss any sort of you know, real estate things, whether you need to sell to build, anything real estate related with your land and building um, decisions coming up, please give us a call at Fitzpatrick's. I'm Sean Larry. thanks for watching.